What a pretty sight. You have the creek meandering past the dam. This is Franktown Creek. And yes, the dam, there's been two dams, two dams at Hobart, two dams near the Red House. And uh, this is not the Red House, but there's an old, if you look, see if we can zoom in, old pipeline. One of the dams, I believe, broke, so this is beautiful country. I mean, it's we've gone at least six, maybe a little bit more miles inward. I mean, we basically started from Carson City. We just hiked right up into the Sierras. There's a sign right there, man. There's a sign down there. That's not the Red House, but that is the dam. And we're coming up on it. A lot of blood and sweat and tears goes into these little trips. But I'll tell you what, I don't have any regrets. I mean, this is, these peaks around us and these stone formations, all of this is just so gorgeous. It's like, how can you not want to hike? Hold on. You want to go check out that sign or on the way back or what? I guess. Uh, look. It talks about the dam, that's all. Red House, Franktown Creek. All right, so we'll uh, we'll hit that on the way back. Anyways, that's the dam. That dam, I think, broke. Mm -hmm. So, not now, but back in many years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And then once the dam broke, all the water being held behind just released and created a huge wall of water, wiping out everything. You know. See, this might be a little bad to off-road on, but the other part of the road was good. And if the gates weren't locked, I could have driven up here, you know? Yeah. Hey, you take bicycles back here easily, mountain bikes, but forget about, I mean, when they lock a couple gates, man, you're not going nowhere. You know, I think that second gate we found stays locked all the time. Not as cool as the green fireball I seen in Reno last night. That was pretty awesome. Because I, I mean, you know, fireballs appear in different colors. It's, you know, when the meteorite and the chemicals inside or gases, whatever, escapes, you know, it burns through the atmosphere so it gives off different colors. It was a big green fireball. Imagine. It looked like it landed in Reno. I mean, if you find that meteorite that lands, it could be worth a lot of money. Look at that. What is that? Go to the top. Go to this. Smooth because of erosion. Mm -hmm. It probably was in the creek or near the creek. Like there when it flooded, the dam broke. Yeah. It could have, who knows, throwing it up here. I don't know. This whole canyon could have flooded with a wall of water. Franktown Creek, folks, and over here we have Red House Dam, and I will go up to it just to show you guys some close-ups, but uh, there's a sleuth which goes up and down, or a wheel, and you turn it to let so much water in. Look at that. I-B-J-J-T Arch 1995-W-D. Lots and lots of initials. Lots. Woo! There we go, guys. I'm walking on a dam. I'm walking on sunshine. Oh, yeah. No, just kidding. But look, more pipeline. Jared, I want a picture on this dam, man. I, I'm standing on a dam. It doesn't get any cooler than that, right? 
I mean, I'm not being washed away either, so. Well, you get the idea. Waterfalls, a dam, and some old pipes that tell a story about how water was brought down to Virginia City. It allowed Virginia City to continue to boom and reach higher populations. Without the water, there would be no town. So these pipes made it possible. It was state of the art back in the 1800s, having pipes just directing water miles away. Yeah, look at these woods, how dense. Anything could be back here.